Welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I have um, a humongous haul. This is part two of, I don't even know anymore, but this is part two. So once this stuff is done, and I hope to get it done today, um, I have nothing else to haul. I have to go shopping in order to show you guys some things, which is pretty exciting. Um, but before I do that, I just want to show you guys all of the amazing things that I got from People that have been watching my channel. That is so sweet. I did, and I didn't expect it. I don't even have an address, but Tina Grady had won my, um, oh, my giveaway. Tina Grady was one of the people that won my giveaway, and she obviously has my address. And I guess because you're so sweet, Tina, and you realize that I'm obsessed with scissors, but don't get into the habit of sending me things that I'm obsessed with, because I get obsessed with a lot of things, um, you wrote me this cute note and I remember you had written in the comments because I got your card your Christmas card and the mailman had like I don't know dropped it in a puddle and then delivered it it was so crazy and random how I got it like I think right after Christmas and um you were like oh I had sent you something else too and I was like I didn't see it I didn't get it but I did it just came really late the mail is really behind schedule but Tina sent me these actually very cool that I have not seen floral scissors she said that they're much better than the regular scissors and they look it um so I'm kind of excited because these are probably really good for cutting chicken like just cut the chicken like that when you cook it I love to cut things in the kitchen with scissors and she sent me these like heavy duty industrial scissors that actually fit my fat fingers because the ones I hauled from Jot that were so pretty they're kind of useless I can't really get my fingers in there. I have to leave the pinky out. So I don't know what that was about, but these are awesome and I love them. Thank you so much, Tina. They're going in the kitchen scissor bouquet and I love, love kitchen scissors. I can never have enough kitchen scissors, never. And then um, this was so sweet and I did not expect this and I almost feel like I shouldn't accept it because it's so generous. But um, Rhonda, that was Rhonda, one of my major like uh, viewers. She watched, she, I, I love you, Rhonda. She discovered the channel through Denise's Halls. And she like let me know she had just subscribed to my channel. And then during, I guess, a board weekend, she watched every video I had uploaded. And I felt like I spent the weekend at Rhonda's house because she was like, oh, I just finished watching this video. Now I'm going on to this one. And as she was commenting, I was getting to know her. So I feel like we really know each other. I, 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 I want to meet all of my subscribers one of these days. Like when I take a road trip across country, I'm going to be at your house, Rhonda. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. But um, and then Georgia, well, I'd have to drive a lot to get to California. But Georgia is possible. I could get there very soon, actually. <laughs> But um, it's so sweet. I love this card. It's so pretty. And it was really generous. She wrote me a really beautiful card that I just it really made my week. And gave me a gift card. For more, this I'm going to make a Rhonda's Dollar Tree haul. Oh, yeah, because I don't have anything left after this haul. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to get 30 things on Rhonda and share them with you guys. If I can even remember to keep it to only 30 things. But I'm gonna try, that will be fun. That was so nice of you. You guys do not understand. On the day that this came, it made my day. And then for my youngest viewer, who I think is turning six or five in February, I think she's turning six in February, just a few days from now, she sent me an LOL surprise um, card that she, well, obviously her parents filled that out. She's a little girl, but she wrote me a letter about like, you know, the Dollar Tree and stuff and LOL dolls and it's just so cute. And she signed it, Nora. But I love that they like, no, like now they know, they're like, oh, we're going to the Dollar Tree. Yay, the Dollar Tree. And I love to buy little girl stuff for them. I literally cannot wait to go to Florida so I can take them with me to the Dollar Tree because that will make me super happy. And, uh, yeah, so that's my friend mail that I got that I wasn't expecting at all. And really, 
it really made my, it just made me so happy. Oh, and the crazy thing was when my husband came in and brought the mail in, I was telling Gretchen about all the horrible, crazy things that had happened to me on that day. And Gretchen was like, Gretchen from Gretchen's One DIY at a Time. She's one of my closest friends and she also has a YouTube channel and she does Dollar Tree hauls also. She lives in Queens. So she goes to the stores that I know so well and love. And, um... If you guys haven't subscribed to her channel, definitely check her out. But when I was opening my friend mail packages, she was like, oh, that's so sweet. She's like, oh, my God, I'm so excited. Remember when you first started your channel? You were so nervous and I'm so touched for you. Like we were both in tears. It was amazing. So I felt like it's been so crazy. I'm I'm. I'm not always on the phone with Gretchen, but it just so happens I was on the phone with her the day that I went to Dollar Tree and I met Erica Fuller. And that was like a super exciting YouTube moment for us, like together, because we're like a team, team YouTube, Gretchen and I. And then I got this friend mail and she was there on the phone with me for that. So even though the world is like living in such a distance, these like red letter moments have been shared with one of my besties because I know that, you know, someday she's going to get friend mail from people or bump into a YouTuber in Queens. And it's just going to be so exciting for her, too. Um, that's enough about that. Let's get into this haul because there's a lot of stuff here. I'm just going to kind of start with what I have in front of me. Um, this was a mega, mega, mega wish list item. And you guys know that I literally have bought everything in that line because I do love the... Um, global beauty care products i do really like them i'm i can't i no i really i i love them they're a bargain this stuff is more than a dollar and thrifty tiffany is the one who made me realize that global beauty brands global beauty care is sold in marshall's and tj maxx because i knew i had seen it somewhere else before i believe it's also sold in family dollar but i haven't been to family dollar in so long I'm almost positive it's also sold in Family Dollar. But I did get the lip scrubber, and I only found it with the white handle, not the black handle. The black handle is kind of um, funky and fabulous for Valentine's Day, but honestly, it does match the um, pink scrub that has the white lettering more. And this is the Pink Sugar Lip Scrub. I've never tried a lip scrub before. Maybe I haven't, I don't remember, but I'm so excited and these global uh, brand products are also cruelty free, which is important. There's no reason to test on animals. Um, it's already been done so many times. The data is there. They don't need to do it again. So I did get that and I'm so psyched about it. I really wanted that. There are a bunch of new products that were out. If you guys noticed my thumbnail, I am going to try each and every one of these. I did already purchase this retinol skin cream and i like it it claims to be anti-aging who knows it makes me happy to slather this stuff on my face before i go to bed or before i put my makeup it can't hurt if it doesn't break me out i'm always gonna put stuff like that on so it's good to be moisturized there's nothing wrong with it i love face masks those are like my favorite products that i buy for myself at the dollar tree i feel like they're so inexpensive i could try them all you know the world is my oyster in that area and it really does bring me a lot of joy. So I have been using that retinol cream and I really enjoy it. And then I picked up this hydraulic acid skin cream. So what this one says in these teeny tiny, look, I had to bust out my old lady specs. Uh, this is like actually what I use in the store. <laughs> so it's really sad, which is why I never read it. But because I... I can't wear bifocals. I really need bifocals. I have a slight astigmatism, but really and truly, the distance thing, I don't really need. I can basically squint my way through anything, but for reading, I need glasses. Right, right. But the last time I went to the eye doctor, they were like, why don't you get bifocals? And I was like, okay, so I spent all this money for this transition lens where it's got like, whatever. I spent all this money on these crazy pair of glasses because I thought I needed them. And every time I wear them, I throw up because they make me completely dizzy. I, like it's because I'm always looking all over the place. People with ADHD can't stay focused. That's the whole point. So for me, I couldn't get used to them. I was like literally dizzy, sick and throwing up from them. And then when I went to this um, eye doctor, closer to here because it was like when I was moving and I went to this older 
uh, eye doctor on like Long Beach and I told him the whole situation and he was like an older man like in his 70s he was like this chill like 70s place and like he has his eye doctor like studio in the front of his beautiful beach house on Long Beach and I was like so what should I do and he was like don't do that anymore <laughs> and I was like no seriously and he was like I'm serious just don't wear them he's like you know you really can see but you can't see little little print um who cares you can always find something to read it with later but for the most part i mean it's making you sick to the point where you're dizzy and falling and tripping and hurting yourself do not wear your glasses just if you really need get a pair of cheap readers so i didn't need to hear any more he basically told me to get glasses at the dollar tree i was like this is my eye doctor i'm so over the other one that i paid like 480 dollars for glasses that made me throw up trip on the curb almost have accidents i was literally seeing spots and they were like you could get used to them and then i got my eyes retested and they were completely right even the nice older man he checked my glasses and he was like, this is your prescription, but some people just cannot get used. He's like, you know, you seem like you're all over the place a little bit. You know, I think that you may not really get used to it or you have to wait until your eyes worsen and you'll just have surgery. And I was like, OK, I'm going to do eye surgery. Sounds like a horrible thing, but I'm going to have to because I can't deal with bifocals. I can't. So that's that. And uh, so I'm just waiting for them to get worse. Isn't that what we're all doing? We're all waiting for things to just worsen so we can like fix it or forget about it. But anyway, um, these are my glasses these days. Hydraulic acid, which has excellent water retention capabilities to keep skin hydrated and alleviate visible dryness. Hmm, so maybe I'll use this more like in the summer. I don't know. I'm going to try it, see what it does. On a day when my skin feels particularly, oh, maybe like sometimes when you use the clay mask, that really pulls all the crap out of your skin and it kind of does leave you a little dry. So you could use this one after and it says um, hydraulic acid skin cream, 1.7 ounce. I definitely am going to use that up. Then this one, I don't know what this is about. I've actually never seen anything like it. Um, has anyone tried this one yet? It says... It's it's a sleeping mask, hydraulic acid overnight revitalizing gel mask for all skin types. So I do use the overnight um, skin nutrients and I think that that's really good stuff. I really feel like it does really moisturize and hydrate my skin. But this one whose writing is just a little bit bigger, I could see just fine. I don't need glasses. So this one says to use thoroughly clean and dry your face. Dip applicator into jar and scoop desired amount. Spread evenly over face, avoiding eyes and lips. Wash off in the morning. Hmm. Refrain from using if you have sensitive skin or are allergic to any ingredients. Dun, 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 dun. L recommended usage two to three times a week. Okay, so before I go to sleep with this on my face and wake up like, the guy in the mask, I'm going to, um, which I don't mean that in a mean way, but you guys know what I'm saying. I'm not ready to deal with that in the morning. I'm going to definitely, before I ever sleep with it overnight, put it on on a day where I'm going to be home and use it like that, which could be today because I am, this is my crafting day and uh, that's what it looks like. They come in these cute little things. They come in these cute little containers that look like they're way more than a dollar. And their products really don't have a scent, which I kind of like as well. And it does have the little face spatula, which reminds me of like back in the day, there was this thing called Jolene and it used to come with one of these and you used to bleach your mustache with it. And I don't know. It was like when I was like 15, I tried that. I don't know. I almost burned my skin off. I didn't even have a mustache. But I had seen my mom doing it and I wanted to try it. It feels like water. It smells like nothing. Feels like water. I'm going to try it. But it says to remove it in the morning. And, you know, it has like a false bottom in the box, which I think is so cool too. Because it really just makes it look like ooh la la. But it's really just for them to be able to fit all of the words and it's written in French and English and it's just lovely a lovely packaging you can 
Give that to a friend. It's like $3.99, $4.99 at Marshall's. Got the multivitamin moisturizer, vitamins A and Omega Plus Complex. It's going to give me a complex or what is that? A complex vitamin? I guess so. It is, um, these products are all cruelty-free for all skin types, non-comedogenic. I don't actually know what that means, but I always read it. Non-comedogenic, comedogenic. What does that mean? Oh, I think it means that it doesn't clog your pores, right? It's, um, God, Marina, you, you actually do know what that means. I went to like school to do makeup. I know what that means, but the brain doesn't work sometimes. Um, paraben free. I mean, not school. It was like a course, but I do know what that is. And, uh, pH balanced. So I don't know. I like their products. So multivitamin moisturizer. Let's open this up and see what it looks like. The lip scrub is adorable. It's pink and scrubby. I should have shown that one to you guys too. For anybody out there that, you know, wants to know what it's like, I want to share that information. Also 1.7 ounce. Ooh, I love this. Wow. We don't even know that this bottle is beautiful because it doesn't let us see it. Oh, and it's just an actual moisturizer. I mean, honestly, not for nothing, but for 1.7 ounces of basically even a cold cream, I know I have all my makeup on, but it's non-comedogenic, so it's not going to clog my pores, if that's what that means, but I think it is. Um, feels good. I like it. It's definitely a nice moisturizer. I'm psyched about that one. And why not for a dollar? And then I bought, oh yeah, so I did show you guys the Pink Sugar Lip Scrub. You know what? I am going to open it and show you guys what it's like. I feel like you guys should see everything I buy. And if you don't, you know, if I bought, if I already spent the dollar and you guys might not want it, I might as well show you what it's like in case you don't like something about it. So this one has like, like sugar literally it's so cool I've never tried this but I did see thrifty Tiffany show it and I was like this is amazing so it has like little granules of sugar in it it doesn't it smells like pink I can't explain it has no smell just a little oh no that that's your perfume Marina you're so silly I don't think it has a fragrance at all it's fragrance free so Again, very cool. I really wanted this with the lip scrubber. I'm psyched to have it. I'm going to try that out later. I think use the Dollar Tree um, by LA Colors matte lip glosses that, you know, they're like the LA Colors and they come in the lip gloss thing, but it's a matte lip, lip, whatever those things are, lip gloss, but matte. Um, those really cake on your lip. Like, they feel fine and I love them. They happen to be my very favorite lipstick to, lipstick to wear during these times when you're wearing a mask because it doesn't smudge all over your face. But when you go to take it off, it is kind of like hard. So I'm going to use the lip scrubber from now on. I think it's like the perfect thing. Couldn't have come at a better time. And then there is a uh, mask applicator, clay gel mask. And it, cut, and it has in it vitamin A, C, and E, 15-minute facial therapy. So it does have the little thing, and it, it's like a gray clay mask, just a classic gray mask. I've act, I have actually used this in the past. I purchased it after Christmas on Crazy Clearance last year at Family Dollar. So they do sell this at Family Dollar. Now I remember where I've seen this brand before. I had this before, and I loved it. And I had... The other one is the gold one. Um, I did buy this. Now, the gold one says that it is a treatment for anti-aging, and I really liked it. It was really hydrating. It gives your face like a nice glow. Um, and the other one that I had bought, bought a long time ago from Family Dollar was the charcoal infused one. This one I feel like cleans dirt out. Is that what it does? Let's see. Yeah, it draws out dirt. That makes sense. It cleans out your pores. 
And the clay one, I have definitely tried in the past as well. And this one, I'm almost positive, cleans out the dirt as well. It, it does. It says that it um, softens your skin and draws out any deep uh, dirt in your pores. So I believe it. And that's really, I like to do these in the summer when your skin gets really dirty from the heat and all of that stuff. So there are really a lot of new products. Um, and the funny thing is that I didn't find the cucumber um, face mask in this box, but I did find one and I definitely bought it because I did enjoy it by the same brand, Global Beauty Care Hydrogel Face Masks with Vitamin A, C, and E, 15-Minute Facial Therapy. So this is a single use, but it's good. And it does come with that gel-like mask. See, like, you can actually see it because it's like, see her face is like white and then her face is green. So the mask is like made of gel. I love those kind of masks. I don't know. I want to bite them. They make me so happy. So I got that. I got so much face stuff, but I really enjoy these. Even though they're like a few minutes of happy, they're still making me happy. So I'm going to be trying the multivitamin one. That is a moisturizer. Why not? It's always good to slather it on. Then I'm going to do this sleeping mask. As long as I'm not allergic to it, I'm going to test it out later. And then I'm going to sleep with it all night long and see what it does in the morning. Why not? A dollar. And then the hydraulic acid. This is actually a rebuy. I love it. I picked up this. I picked it up a while ago and I really like it. Is it? Oh, no. No, no, I'm lying. This is the one that I bought already, the Retinol Skin Cream. I really like this. It's a very nice product. It's supposed to be anti-aging, and I do like it. So I definitely picked up a second one of that. This I have not tried yet by this brand, uh, the Hydraulic Acid Skin Cream. But for a buck, I bought it, definitely. And the Clay Gel Face Mask, I picked that up as well. And the charcoal infused gel face mask and the gold gel face mask. So all together and the so all together there are eight new products. And I feel like for eight dollars, why not? Eight them all up. Try them all out. If you don't love them, give them to your sister, give them to your neighbor, give them to your mom. Give maybe it'll be good for someone else. But for eight dollars, you know, like to buy a regimen, a de expensive. Honestly, a lot of the really high-end stuff, it doesn't really have anything in it any different than the low-budget stuff. It's just a lot of packaging. So, yeah, I definitely am down with this. I'm very excited, and I'm going to try them all out, and I'll let you guys know which ones are my favorites. I did find some other skin products, and I'm going to show you them, everything that I found. I, was, I had a really fun, like, self-care haul of my own, because... I really love skin stuff, but I did find this Aveeno and it's a really good thing that I read it when I got home because I am so glad I did not put this on my face. I would have broken out crazy. This is Dermatologist Recommended Aveeno Clear Complex Purely Matte Peel Off Mask. Exfoliates and mattifies with AHA's AHA's soy and pomegranate now i am severely allergic to soy i try really hard not to use it um i do eat it sometimes but it does make me crazy itchy but if i apply it directly on my skin my skin breaks out so this is a soy extract i'm just gonna give this to someone i'm not gonna try it i'm not gonna take the chance it's not worth it i have so many other products if to try it because it says right at the very top soy extract so i don't know what the heck that means I'm not trying it, but it, you know, Aveeno for a buck. There is very little product in here. It's a single use item. Aveeno is made by Johnson and Johnson. So it is a brand name, but it's a third of an ounce. So I was shocked to see this at the Dollar Tree. And if you like these kind of things and you're going somewhere for overnight and you want to try it out, definitely give it, you know, look for it, but I'm going to pass on it. I'll give it away. Um, I did pick up one of these. I think I actually, yeah, this is a rebuy actually for me. Broadway Beauty Bamboo Facial Sheet Mask. I really like it. Pore minimizing. Um, dermatologist tested. 
It's by, it's by Broadway Beauty, which they have been bringing into the Dollar Tree lately. It's K-Beauty. Anytime I see, oh, it says inspired by K-Beauty. Okay. Like it. I bought it last week and I tried one and I liked it because it's a sheet mask. It's nothing you have to like apply and then wash off and do all of that. I really love sheet masks the most. They're my favorite. So I liked it. It got really dry and I really enjoyed it. So I picked up one more because I happen to see it. Also, just as we're on the subject of masks, those lace masks, they're made of lace. Did you guys know that? They're actual lace masks. They're like lace and they have gel on them. I'm going to insert a picture of what they're like if I haven't deleted it because I couldn't believe they're real lace. Inside of it is like lace. The whole thing, your face is lace when you put it on. It's so weird and strangely fun. And as the masks like absorbed into your skin, you could see the lace more and more. Like the stuff that's on the mask gets sucked into your skin. And when it's like completely time to take it off, there's almost very little stuff left on your mask and it's in your skin and you have like lace that you take off and throw in the garbage. It was crazy. I did not know that that's how that, well, I just thought they called it lace mask and maybe the gel would have like a lace pattern in it. No, there's actual lace in the mask. What? So then by Miss Spa, and you guys know that I love the packaging on these. I actually love Miss Spa products. Miss Spa Bamboo Charcoal Clarifying Sheet Mask. So I'm going to assume that it might be very similar to this one, but I'm going to try. I haven't tried this out yet, but I have tried this and I like it. And I do enjoy a face mask constantly. And so this one says bamboo charcoal and soothing botanical extracts target pore clogging dirt and oil to reveal clearer looking skin. Advanced formulation dermatologist tested. Um, I don't know, but I'm going to try it out. I hope it's good. I bought two just in case. You never know. I did pick up two of these red wine purifying sheet masks. And it says infused with antioxidant power of red wine extract. This natural silk mask. Hmm, this one is silk. What? Helps clean and clear pores as it guards against damaging effects of free radicals. Wow, it's made of silk, this mask. How could they? Helps clean and clear pores with the help of, of the protecting power of red wine extract, vitamin B3, and witch hazel water on a silk mask. I mean, how do they do that for a dollar? That's like amazing to me. It's silk. Little silkworms made my mask. I'm... <laughs> Okay, and this is my one of this is one of my all-time favorite masks from the Dollar Tree. Remember I was telling you guys the other day how I love when you put the mask on and it like foams. I bought like a a black one that does it. It's in my I was looking to see if I could find it in my uh beverage cooler cuz I keep all my masks in the fridge. But um this is the mask that I love and it is an actual the new and original, the new and original Korean beauty mask, hydraulic acid infused with glycolic acid face mask treatment with full, with fuller earth clay, vitamin C, vitamin E, yuzu lemon to brighten, clarify and moisturize skin. This is the mask that I absolutely love. You put this on and it just starts foaming like crazy and you massage it into your skin and you feel it like blah, 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 blah. It even makes sound. And then you kind of know when it's done, it starts to fizzle out. You take it off and you massage your skin and you rinse it off and it feels amazing. And it gives your skin like this really radiant glow. I love these masks. If you see them, grab them. I hold these the other day, but I picked up another one because I really like it. They're foot masks. And they really moisturize your feet. You, um, you know, you put just like this, just like it shows in the picture. You put your whole foot in it. And you just let it sit. You can even fall asleep with them or put your socks over them and leave them on all night long. But if you take these off, so let me warn you guys what almost happened to me because I was almost dead. Okay, so I actually put on my socks and fell asleep, right? My feet got so moisturized that the next day, 
I went to jump in the shower because I had some errands to run. I took everything off. I forgot. I went into, put my slippers on, go in the kitchen, put on a pot of coffee. Well, a cup of coffee and go into the bathroom to take a shower, forgetting that I had been wearing moisturizing socks all night and I had my flip flops on and you know, your lips, you're like that rubbery, you don't slide in your flip flops usually. So I took them off. I step into the shower. Oh my God. My, I went, boom, almost killed myself. It was a miracle that I caught myself and I was like, how am I sliding like this? And I was like sliding. And then I was like, oh, wow, wow, that foot mask. And then I was like, wow, my feet are like soft as a baby's bum. And so, yeah, they work really good. But be careful when you go in the shower that you make sure to get traction or you will be in traction. So just, just a friendly reminder, guys. Then on the subject of feet, this happens to be... Oh, wow. So, so we're like doing my top 10 without even doing it. Um, I forget what the other item was the other day that I hauled that I was like, it's on my top 10 list, but these are one of my number one favorite items that the Dollar Tree sells. They don't always have them and there's not a lot in here. It's two ounces and it's kind of liquidy. So when you open it, oh, they always come sealed because if people were to open this and check out what it smells like in the store, it would all spill out. It's not really like, it sh I wish that they made it in a pump bottle. And I mean, even if it was little or just not this tube. I hate that it comes in this tube because it's very liquidy. But this aloe, first of all, it's real aloe. It's Epsom salt and aloe and um, magnesium sulfate. Yeah, it's, it's literally mint, like salt peppermint and aloe and some other chemicals I don't know what but it has the peppermint you could smell it it has the aloe you could really feel it it has the texture of aloe and it's like an Epsom salt foot gel it is so amazing like if I've been wearing shoes that are killing my feet and I put this on my feet and I put my socks on my feet get like this cool they get the peppermint patty like this is like a peppermint patty version of foot care like the commercial like whenever I put it on I'm like oh my feet are having that cool breeze sensation John and John's like I know dear because he knows that I love this and um I just love it I love this stuff I can't say enough about it if you've never tried it or you're like ah it's just another lotion it's not lotion it's like I don't know it's amazing after you give yourself a pedicure, put this on. It just feels so good. I absolutely love this Epsom salt foot gel. I love it, love it, love, 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 love. One of my number one products. I currently have three in my stockpile and I felt like I was running low, so I picked up three more. That's good for like three or four months. I use it almost every day. I, I love, love, love it. Another other item that I found that I had um, never even known that the Dollar Tree sold, but... I have become obsessed with picture hanging and nails and the wall and all of that goodness due to my husband putting his foot down about me putting any more nails unnecessarily in things in the wall. Unless it's something that I've put up in the wall and it's staying there and I absolutely swear that I'm not taking it out like two days later because I do do that. Like I'll be like, oh, I love this picture. I want to have it forever. And then I find some other picture at the Dollar Tree and I'm like, okay, I'm over this picture. I'm giving it away. I love this picture. I want to hang it forever. And then I'm like, but I want to hang it somewhere else. So I'm just going to take the nail out and move it a few inches over. Can you paint that, dear? And he's like, no more of this. Find another way to do this. You're not allowed to put anything in the walls anymore. And so, especially now that we're moving, I agree with him on that one because I want to be able to sell my house for as much money as possible. And so... I didn't know that they made these, but when I saw them, I was like, what? This is amazing. So I'm reluctant to believe that they work, but it does say four pairs hold up to five pounds. So you need four, four of these on one thing to, so, so I guess you put it in all four corners and you slap it on like Velcro because it's literally Velcro. Like you put it on one side of the, they show, they show the person taking the mirror, putting one piece on one end and one piece on the wall. And then 
the best way to do it is to close the Velcro on the item, put it exactly where you want it, take the sticky off, and then it'll stick on and you're good. Instead of like peeling it and trying to line it up, that won't work. But I got it in black and white. I've never seen this at the Dollar Tree. It's almost like, once again, the phone's listening to me and the Dollar Tree is just providing me with all of my needs because here it is again. I've become obsessed with picture hanging without making holes in the wall and now there's even more stuff related to that. So, I mean, I guess you could attach a command hook to it. I don't know why you'd want to. Um, if this works, I'll be amazed. I have hung things on the wall with just straight up double-sided tape from the super glue one. But, you know, like the little really, really light Dollar Tree canvases. You can hang these with just contact. What, is, what are those things called? Not Double-sided tape. The super glue double-sided tape. I hang these on the wall all the time with that. I just put one here and one on the other side. And I put it on the wall. Although, you have to be careful. Sometimes the super glue one actually takes your paint off the wall. Because the super glue double-sided tape is really, really good. So, you know. Oh, and I did get this. I couldn't help myself. I've sworn that I will no longer buy any wall art. But I can't help it. When I see a super cute. Like, look at that. For a dollar. It's gorgeous. That is so so cute. I had to get it. I'll put it up in the summer. I had to buy it. So yeah, maybe I'll be using these to hang it up with in the summer, but I just, I think they're brilliant if they work. Has anyone tried these out? Does anybody know? Are they any good? On the whole wall art thing, I did pick up this. It says, it's good to be home. It's so cute. I actually think that I picked this up for a friend of mine that has a very black and white motif type uh, decor going, but I just think it's a, such a cute picture. It's really nice, like really simple, cute for a dollar. Couldn't help but buy it. I really like it. I thought I broke it, but I didn't. The plastic just has a little scratch in it. I find this number 540 Violet Nova by Maybelline. It is like a lavender silver eyeliner and I picked it up for a friend. That's what it looks like. I have actually bought this before and it's pretty cool. So I thought my friend would like it and I picked it up. It's really cute. I need to show you guys these because I have had these in my car for the longest time. I did get, I did get three blue ones. I must, the other one must be in the car. These are stackable flower pots. They're amazing. They're amazing. I had them last year. I absolutely love them. And I did get them in terracotta also. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I bought nine because I'm giving a bunch of these to some people as presents. And I'm going to send them seeds and I'm going to mail them in the mail because I think it's a fun gift to give people. Um, that, you know, you can give them like seeds to impatience or the zinnias or whatever. Put it in the mail. It's really easy to disassemble it, obviously, and put it in a smaller box mail them the seeds and this and a card and that's such a cute little gift for like mother's day or something like that that they can plant on their own and grow and it's really inexpensive a few bucks they also have like the gloves and the little shovel i'm gonna get all of those too but i didn't pick them up yet and um i'm gonna be mailing these out to people i just think they're really cute and they make a very nice gift And this is a lot bigger than I'm used to seeing at the Dollar Tree. And it says, you had me at Woof. And I really like it. I'm putting it on my back door. Hopefully Max doesn't pee on it, but um, he might. And that's okay, because it was only a dollar. And I really like to have a mat on the inside and the outside of my back door because the dog always goes in and out. Well, Mabel always goes in and out of the back door. And I don't like her tracking her dirt from running all through the house. And it's just constant mopping and sweeping of the floors in my house. Constant. Like sometimes at this point, three times a day. So anything that might bring it down to twice a day would be great and much appreciated. Um, I know that this is going to be a little bit crazy, but I did pick up three of these again because I like to buy things in threes. And I just honestly, because you don't always find them. 
and I did. I bought three more. I bought it. I bought them again. I don't know what or when I might need them. I might want to make a different type of tear tray in the spring. I'm thinking I might want to. Um, I did make one for the fall. I did see a lady do something like this with it. And then I've never thought of gluing them like that. To, oh, almost broke it. But I did see like on the internet how someone did. They doubled it up. So it was like taller. I don't know. But. I just decided I need three more. Anytime I see them, I at this point pick them up because I do use them for stuff. I use them to make my um, Christmas lantern looking lights and I love those. And I did buy, I just feel like you always need to have some of those luminescence candlesticks. They're highly DIY'd and you never know when you're gonna see something that you wanna make. So I like to have them on hand. Um, the wood cutouts, I found these wood cutouts in the crafter square section, a heart star and a flower. And I actually thought in my head that it was the same size as the home sign that they recently made with the corrugated metal, but it's smaller, so it won't fit for what I wanted it for. But I'm sure that I'll find something to do with these. You get two hearts, two stars, two flower cutouts, and the flower cutouts are super cute. I really like the flower cutouts. That's what I was really wanting this for so that that could be like the summer uh, O version in that um, sign that the Dollar Tree made, but I haven't found the right fill-ins yet for my year-round perpetual interchangeable sign, but I will, I will. I did get from Scrub Buddies a two-pack of these sponges because I really like this print, so cute. And the other side is striped. I just needed some sponges, no biggie, two for a dollar. It's kind of like a no-brainer at this point from the Dollar Tree. Always got to get my sponges. I did see Scrub It, these disposable quick eraser sheets. You get five. I picked these up as well. They also, so I I, I keep my, um in, in this old Dollar Tree Tupperware is where I keep my Scrub Buddies cleaning cloths or whatever these are called. Um the wet sweeper cloth refills but they also this is a 10 pack and they also carry the brillo basics wet cloth refills for the mopping but i wanted to see i just kind of wanted to compare them i did use the brillo one and has a very similar scent to the one from the dollar tree there is almost i i really don't there's no scrubby because it says that it has scrubber it doesn't like I don't see any scrubbiness to this it doesn't have any nothing special and then I'll show you guys the the Dollar Tree one says quilted texture which it does I buy these all the time but in case if anybody has never bought them from the Dollar Tree or would like to know what the difference is because you do get two more in the Dollar Tree pack compared to the Brillo pack and I mean, I myself have to admit that I was compelled to buy the Brillo one because it's a brand name, but literally, wow, you know what? I'll tell you right now, the Dollar Tree ones are better than the Brillo ones because the Dollar Tree ones are not as thick, but they don't have any quilty, grippy scrubbiness to them. The Dollar Tree one actually has these little indentations in it that actually do sort of the and they're right in that fold so as you're like tilting the you guys know what i mean it sort of has that indentation exactly where it folds over and if you want to get like something that might be crusty those actually kind of help in scrubbing it out so i have to say that the dollar tree ones are actually better because this doesn't have it it might be a little thicker but that doesn't mean that it's gonna clean the floor better. You need a little surface traction. Up, oh, it's all about, this whole video is all about traction. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have to say that my vote is for the 10 for a dollar instead of the eight for a dollar. The Dollar Tree brand has more of those little quilty ridges, ridges, that's what I was thinking of, that will scrub any like surface dirt out or max poop that might have been there overnight, which does happen. 
That is why I've been mopping my floors like a bandit. And I did pick up another one of these. Oh yeah, that's what I mean. Like, so when you find an area that you really want to scrub, like I usually kind of tilt it and go like that or like that to really scrub it. And if it has ridges in this area, it'll clean it better. And I'm sure you guys have seen this already. I did buy a new mop head. We need one like in every room at this point because we're sick of always even looking for it. We, we actually have a mop by the front door, a mop over here. Um, one of my subscribers told me to try putting Vicks on the floor. Max licked the Vicks and then pooped there later. He, nothing, he, I, where he's very confused. He pees on the wee wee pad always. He will go searching for his wee wee pad. In fact, if I forget to put a wee wee pad down because I'm always mopping the floors and I put a rug down, he'll be like, oh, they must have gotten me a different type of wee wee pad and he'll pee on a rug. But if I put the wee wee pad down, he always pees on the wee wee pad. But poop, he does not poop on the wee wee pad. We don't know why. We cannot figure it out. We don't know what to do. We've taken the poop and put it on the wee wee pad and showed him like, this is where you have to go. And we see him sniffing around and we put him on the wee wee pad and he looks at us like, uh-uh, this isn't where I poop. This is where I pee. Don't you guys know better? And he gets really angry and stubborn and growls at us. And we're like, no, 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 you have to poop here. But it hasn't happened yet. But he'll get it. Three-piece manicure set by Diamond. Diamond is a good brand name. It comes with a nail file and I love that it is like sealed with plastic so you're the first person to touch it. I love that. And then it comes with a tweezer which, let's see, it's a slant tip tweezer and can it pluck? Let's see. If a tweezer cannot pluck a hair immediately, I don't love it. But it's okay. It's okay for an emergency if you're really going to get the mirror out and... I like tweezers that are like practically razor sharp. Um, dangerous that way. And it does come with nail clippers. The nail clippers, are, these are good nail clippers. I can tell. They're very tense and I like them. And you know what? 30 cents each. I did get these. I'm going to keep it in my purse in case I need a nail file sometimes. Because sometimes you just need to take care of your nails. And this is a really like small, compact, three-piece little. And it's. I like that it says implement tube three-piece implement tube sounds very very schnazzy you go diamond and i really do like diamond cosmetics it's not a dollar at the health and beauty store this is like more than a dollar like five or six bucks pet department i picked up a blue mat i you know what these are nice because they're they actually have like the super grippy bottoms I picked up this blue bone shape mat. I love it. I think it's so cute. Very, very fuzzy, like velvety, nice feeling. I picked up a pink mat for Mabel because they're, they do have separate eating areas, even though lately they've been kind of unified. But the cat definitely gets her own food bowl mat because she ain't having any part of any of this. And it does have the grippiness, which I love. It's not going to spill or slide all over the house. And it's just so cute. You could also, if you want to really be cute and fancy, you could put this right outside of the cat's litter box and she could step on this plush carpeting as she comes out because this is like a plush shag 70s rug for a cat. It's so cute. I love the color. So cute. Love them. I actually picked these up a long time ago at my Dollar Tree. They're from Walmart originally, and they were like five something at Walmart originally. And I left it in the side of the shopping cart because sometimes when something is like this, they don't put it in a bag, you just stick it in your cart. And I forgot to take it with me. Now, here's the crazy thing. My Dollar Tree, I don't know how the other ones are selling this. My Dollar Tree, you get all of this for a dollar. But in here, in this bag, there's more than one of these. You get three of these and you get three for one dollar. So I don't know. Everybody that I saw haul this, I don't think got three for a dollar. But I actually was thinking about just um, turning it into a bigger size magic pillow because it's so cute. And I just, you guys know that I love the magic pillow fabric. <laughs> 
I uh, the magic sequin fabric. So I was like, you know what? I just love it. Why don't I make a pillow out of it and keep it on my bed? It's very like relaxing. I like use fun. I don't know. I just, I get really obsessed with it. You could put it, you could cut it and glue it to like a pencil holder and make like a mat. You can make a whole desk set. You could do so many things with this. It's really, you can cut this and there's no fraying, no nothing. You can cut it to any size. You could like put some on your stapler, put some on your pencil cup, put to do so many things with it. But I now have a whole lot of it for a dollar. I don't know. Did anybody else buy this and did they get three for a dollar? Because I thought that it was a mistake, but they were like, no, no, that's how it is. And I don't think so, but that is how I got it. So I have three for one dollar. I'm happy because I'm definitely going to make a pillow out of two just for the sake of making it. Why not? It's so easy. You really don't have to sew. You can actually glue this one because it's not really about the pillow. It's really about changing the sequence from one way to the other. And I just, I love this stuff. I just truly love it. I'm all over the place, but in the pet department, I found these. This happens to be one of Mabel's absolute favorite toys. And she actually killed, and the last time that I found them, I bought two. The first one she killed in 30 seconds, but the other one lasted a long time. So this time I kind of know what to look for. And I think I picked out two that aren't going to split down the middle really easily. And I'm hoping that these might last a long time because she, she really loves these. This is like her favorite thing to grab. And then when you're playing ball with her, she doesn't bite your fingers off because she has more space because she could be ruthless. When she wants to play ball, she will snip at your fingers. So this is good for the both of us. I did find this type that is like a stick that you could throw and then they'll bring it back. I think Max might be able to get like some joy out of this as well. And I know Mabel likes anything that she can grip and run back and forth with. They don't quite understand fetch, but Mabel's not a fetcher. Mabel's sort of like a, I want to play now, annoyer. But um, I think that they'll enjoy this too. I only found one of this stick, but it's just so cute. It's really, I think maybe they won't kill it that quickly. I don't know, but I hope not. I don't, it doesn't feel like it'll split in half really easy. So yeah, that's pretty cool. It's like an elongated tennis ball. Decor. I did pick up one of these spring bunny and welcome signs. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but I'm sure I'll find something to do with them. And, you know, they're galvanized metal and at three for a dollar, it's a steal. One that said blessed and had the heart. I really, I am not going to lie. I really wanted that because I would have liked to have put that in one of my Valentine decor areas, but I couldn't find it. But I did find the Grateful with this wood and the cute trim. And I did find the Thankful. And I think that they're going to be super duper cute with the um, little houses that the Dollar Tree, they're like my all time. This year, those three like little wooden houses that were like home, what did they say? Home, love. And they were like made of this color wood in the shape of a house. Not the boxes, but just the solid pieces of wood. Those are my favorite decor that the Dollar Tree made. Thankful, home, and something else. Maybe blessed. I don't know. But I love them. Oh, yeah. Maybe it says the same thing. Oh. No. One said home. One said thankful. I don't know what the heck they said. But I love them. Those are... In my top 10 favorite things the Dollar Tree sold this year, those are on the list. I use them almost all the time. I had them in my fireplace, then I had them in my fall decor. And as soon as thank, as soon as soon Valentine's is over, they're coming out for spring. I love them. So I feel like these might look good with those as well. But I don't know. They're definitely going to go somewhere. They match my barn wall really cute by my TV. I just think they're beautiful and I really wanted the one with the heart who knows the year is still young I may find them grateful and thankful and I a lot of the time feel both of those things for 
all good things that happen in my life. So I like the sentiment and I'm glad that I found them. I really like these. And I did pick up this. I had passed on it before, but I decided that I wanted it now. Um, I might put a heart here. I don't know. I like that it lights up because I can take this light out and put in a light that I want in it. So I like that it lights up, but I also like that I can easily remove this light and put a battery operated light in here that is on a timer so it can be color changing. I could put a red heart here and put a light in here that changes color and it will look cute with the red heart. So I picked it up. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but I just like it. I like that it's unfinished. I find myself liking the wood that is th in this color and not actually wanting to paint it. I just polyurethane it. So for a buck, it's nice to play around with. I don't know what I'll do with spring. Like, oh, I might put that red. I don't know, but I'm going to, you'll see that again. So um, I did rebuy a few more of these. I'm obsessed with making giant flowers out of them. So you guys are definitely going to be seeing these on my fence in the summer if I'm still living here or in Florida. But either way, I have like, I think about 12 of these now because I just love the idea of these being petals in a giant flower. Also in home decor, I picked some of these up to ship out to people as gifts um, from like Zoom calls. Like people that I've had different friends or whatever that I've touched base with. I'm just going to, because I screenshot it sometimes, like, or Facebook shoot the calls or whatever that's called. But, you know, you can take a screenshot when you're having, like, a holiday get-together with people. So I just thought that it would be cute to send pictures. And this one says, begin each day with a grateful heart. It's a very full blast. And it has, like, that cute rustic farmhouse barnwood look. They're really cute frames, really cute. And then enjoy the little things. I really like this. Okay, now I love this one the most. Family, a whole lot of love. And then it says family love, a whole lot of, and the heart. I absolutely love this one. But I wish that it was like, this always happens to me. I wish that these words were on this picture frame. And, and that you know, the black part, I wish they were inverted. You guys get it. Um, this one says, enjoy the little things and I love it, but I just would have liked this if it was inverted with the, it would be the cutest thing ever. And I would love it because of the little red heart. And then I would add this to it because you guys know that I love this. I have not even really decorated yet. I told you, I just put my Valentine's Day stuff sort of here. So I can actually decorate soon, but I just would have loved it inverted. I would have liked it more, but I'm, I'm not keeping any of those. I'm shipping them all out to people that I've had phone calls with just because I think it's a cute, sweet thing to do for Valentine's from like Christmas Day and stuff like that. I just thought that would be fun to do. Glitter glue from the Crafter Square section. This is like red sparkly glitter glue, but what I like to do with this is if I'm painting something red and I want it to have that sparkly effect, I just add this to my paint. It's just like Mod Podge almost. So depending on what I do, I'm going to make it red sparkly. I said I like red tacky sparkliness and I do plan on doing a lot of decoupaging and stuff. So you never know what I might end up doing with that. You just never know. But I did pick it up and it will get used. I found this and I was like, ooh, this is a cute thing. I haven't seen spring it says spring fling decor and it's a sign you guys see how cute that I don't know what oh god this bow on top is coming apart okay I fixed it so it's like it says spring isn't that cute so cute I like it a lot I thought it would be very cute in a wreath or really in the center of a wreath that's what I'm thinking and I think it's very very nice I've never actually seen this before at the Dollar Tree. It has glitter, but it's not the kind of glitter that goes everywhere. It's like cemented in there. It's part of it. It's just on both sides sparkly. I love this thing. You could like hang this on your porch and have it like spin around. 
the spring spinner because it's pretty on every side of it. It's so cute, actually, really and truly. And then I did get this, which was a rebuy that I never even used because the first one that I bought, just like the other thing, I left in my cart. I just forgot it in the cart and drove away with all my bags because I had bought a bunch of stuff. Oh, I'm never going to find it. And I didn't find it for a while, but when I did find it, I was thrilled because that is just so cute. Isn't that... Look at that. How cute are those leprechaun legs? I just absolutely love the St. Patty's Day sign. It's probably going to be right there where my wreath is because um, St. Pat Patrick's banner and it is absolutely adorable. I love it. It is burlap that says lucky. See that like burlap trim and then it says lucky with felt. It's actually felt that's made to look like burlap. You know what? It's going to get shown to you. That's what it is. It's so cute. Cute. Wow. For a dollar. Hello. I love this. Literally love different things. So they say lucky day, St. Patrick's. Happy lucky. Happy lucky St. Patrick's Day. Lucky. I don't care. I love it. I love the heart one and I love the shamrock one. I just think they're amazing. I used to own a pub, a college bar when I was much younger. And um, I I've always bought these from like stores like this because they're great to write drink specials on. But this is like, I mean, people that own like bars and restaurants for St. Patty's Day, they can put their specials on here. Or even in your own house, you can write like, Corn beef and cabbage tonight. Be there or be square. Whatever. It's just so cute. It's so cute, cute, cute. I love them. So I one of my favorite things that I've seen at the Dollar Tree in a long time. And I don't remember ever seeing it before. I don't know if they ever had it before. I've gotten stuff like this from Joann's, but I've never gotten it at Dollar Tree. Ever. They usually have the other car. The Shamrock is iridescent. Like it has like gold flecks of paint in it or something glitter I don't know I don't know but they're amazing I literally love them love them I wanted to buy I wanted to buy the whole case but I didn't want to be a jerk because honestly I've never seen these before and I didn't want to be greedy and buy them all but if they had a ton I would have bought a whole case because that's like 24 of them 24 bucks to put 12 in each outside instead of the orange car the instead of those green and white carnations with the coins i would have loved to have had like a dozen of each of these in the pots outside they do come in a lighter and darker shade but they're beautiful i really really wish that i could just convey how really pretty they are but since i didn't want to buy them all up and leave people the people that got to buy these are very happy but what I am going to do is, because like I did say, I did score two strands of lights at the Dollar Tree, one colored and one white for 50 cents each at half off after Christmas. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these pots, these pots, the five pots for St. Patrick's Day for a dollar. That is 20 cents each, five for a dollar. Each strand of lights has 10 lights on it. The multicolor rainbow pack I'm going to use for this project. I'm going to put some of these shamrocks in it, hot glue them in there. I'm going to make a hole on the bottom, stick the light through and hot glue it on there. So you're going to have some shamrocks sticking out of the pot. Then I did buy, because I couldn't help myself, because I was like, oh, this is so fun. I did get the bag of coins and I'm going to try to figure out if I can, you know, attach some coins. Maybe not. Oh, but I could add the coins to the wire. So, yeah, there's going to be coins and then lights with shamrocks. But can you guys see how cute that's going to be? Like, I just think it's going to be so adorable to have, like, this with a light coming out of it. It would be really cool if I could figure out a way to have the coins coming out of it, too. But let me see. Let's see. I can put double the amount. I can put... um one sprig of the light and one sprig of the dark so that there's like a different textural color in there. That's what I'm going to do because I have enough for that. Each um, one of these sprigs can do 
five little pots. And so sticking out of that multicolored rainbow lights in my pot of gold St. Patty's Day tree. How cute are those going to be? I'll do the DIY, but you guys get it, right? Like it's pretty easy. The hot glue gun is sort of going to make everything happen because it gets hot. It'll just melt the black pot. It'll be perfect. It's so cute. I just think that these are so pretty. They're really like, they're kind of like four leaf clovers, but they're not. But in my head, they are. I always clovers, even though they're shamrocks. So maybe that's why I love St. Patty's Day so much. Because I always think of them as four leaf clovers. And I love the idea of finding four leaf clovers. That makes me happy. These, I just, I love them. They make, and I did pick up, of course, from Marmalade to be able to go to the bathroom. The door ringers in, in, in St. Patty's Day for... For the cat, because she it does it does make me very happy that she does that. And it does make her really happy to have that independence. So I picked up two of these in the two different tone ribbon that they have. And I think they're really cute. And they definitely make the ringing noise. And the cat loves that. Gigantic hats. Not for myself, although I do wish that this was a head. You could turn this on a headband, actually. If you put this on a headband... This would be so fun if we had a normal world and we could go out. I would totally wear this in a headband. I love things like this in headbands. <laughs> they make me crazy happy. But I'm going to put this as my tree topper. See, it has like um, a hole in it. You could totally put the top. Oh, I took my tree down over there because I got to switch it over. But um, you could put the point of the tree at the top through that. And then your, your tree has a topper. And it's an actual hat. Top of the morning to you. I love it. And then before I saw that fantabulous one, I had picked this one up to be my tree topper, but I'll just put this in the tree as a decoration. Um, the dog did kind of get it and nip at it a little bit, but it's all good. It's still perfectly usable and I'll just stick it into the tree as an ornament. But this was going to be the topper until I found the, I love the other one so much more, but this is super cute too. You could put this in a wreath. You could put this in a headband. It would be cute as well. The other one I like. I like the other one more all around. No matter what, I love it. Fabuloso Antibacterial. They do have another one. It's like vinegar citrus uh, scent. But this one is antibacterial sparkling citrus. It's kind of thicker than Fabuloso usually is. It's a little bit denser. Um, but it cleans really well. And at this point, at this point, anything that cleans is welcomed in this house. I did get fake pothos plants. They're greenery. They need zhuzhing, but they're really good for planters and that trellis. And I don't know, I have like a spring themed DIY in mind. So I picked up these two. I like when the Dollar Tree has greenery. You do need to get a lot of it, but you know what? It's fun. It's just a few dollars, two dollars. And then I picked up these greenery bouquet. I love these look very real. And I literally am in love with this plant. So I could just see them mixed into a planter. And I picked up the underfall. These are really, really good right from the get-go because their leaves are short and stubby and they don't have anywhere to get flopped around to. But the pothos is okay, but the ivy. Because, uh, because I think it's so nice for Valentine's Day. I think I'm going to use it in some Valentine decor. I haven't decided yet, but I don't know. It's just really cute. Isn't this a cute fake plant? I forget what it's called, this plant, but I really like it. And the Dollar Tree is just calling it Greenery Bouquet. It does not have a name. I think it's called the heart-shaped plant. I, I'm not sure, but I do think it's that's what it's called. But it, it kind of looks like the real plant does. This is what the real plant looks like. I love it. Uh, the size 0 to 36 months. The Snugadoo Little Chenille Baby Sockies. These are, I love them. Love them. And I picked up these really comfortable. They're super duper comfortable. Really plush with like sneakers or any any time you see these jump ball cushion socks two pairs for a dollar scoop them up they're crazy comfortable they have literally got 
a huge amount of plushiness. Do you see how like they're thin here and they're really fat and like, see the difference? Skinny, fat, fat, fat. That's all cushion in there. It's like wearing like pads in your socks. Kids need comfort too. So I grabbed these up to send as some presents, but I just love them all. And they're all going to be sent out as some gifts. I did find this. I did get the apron with the heart and the heart cookie cutter and the poo cookie cutter. And I did finally, I have seen these a few times and I didn't pick them up, but I decided to pick up. I, I was hoping that they would get lips. So it would be lips and mustache. That would be so cute. But I did pick up the mustache cookie cutters for Father's Day because I thought they would be cute to, you know, make brownies, cut them into the shape and put them on top of ice cream or something like that. But it's just cute to make something in the shape of a mustache and give it to someone that's a guy for Valentine's. So, or put it in a basket for a Father's Day gift with obviously other things, but it's just cute because it's a mustache. So it's super cute and just a very cute thing to gift. I picked up two of them because I've seen them a bunch of times and I've passed on them, but they really are so cute that you just can't keep passing on them you're like you know what father's day is coming up let me pick up a couple of them so i did and then i fun things i did pick up two of these because um one of them is a sarcophagus and the other one is the sphinx and these are such fun toys for kids to do excavating with and um unearth treasures. I'm going to ship these out to a couple of kiddos I know that love things like that. Um, I'm pretty sure that inside it is, oh, it says www.savvystuff.com. I love the word savvy. You guys know that. And um, it's a Greenbrier product, cursed treasure, mystery treasure glows. I don't know what's in there. Maybe I hope it's not, you think it's slime? I was thinking that it'll probably be like a fake plastic gold coin, but I have no idea what's in here. So things, I'm all excited. Then I noticed that they have just put out Hot Wheels. And a while ago, I did a walkthrough where they had put out Hot Wheels, but they didn't put out these Hot Wheels. This was a whole different store, a whole different wall of Hot Wheels. And I was like, oh, wow, these are, I actually didn't even do a walkthrough in that store because there wasn't really much to show except for in the toy department. And I was like, wow, I've never seen these Hot Wheels. So the first thing I saw was this set of Hot Wheels. And I don't really know what the point of this set is, but I'll tell you guys my whole point of why I had to buy it. I did get, first of all, a bunch of cars because I like it when I can find a whole set I definitely buy the set, put it in a Ziploc bag, and save it. Because if I can give a little boy six Hot Wheels that are a collection, that's definitely better than giving a kid six Hot Wheels that are just random picks. So I love when I find a whole collection like this. But, but it gets better. Now, I don't know exactly. They all have the number 52 on them. Muscle Speeder, 32... I don't know why they all have the number 52 on them. I have no idea what it, what that's about. I don't know enough about these cars to know, like, is that like the year that Hot Wheels came out, 1952? Is that why? I mean, why? It doesn't say, like, the name of this collection because they usually do say, usually says the name of the collection, but... Then, as I was like, oh, wow, I found all six. Because they have numbers. Like, see, one out of six. See that? Number one out of six. And then you get two out of six. That's number two. So, I did get the whole. That's, like, number two right there. Two out of six. I did get one through six. But then I was like, wait, I don't have that one. What number is that? And this one, Gazella GT has no number but it has the same packaging so then I was like and then I was like whoa I found something really cool so all of a sudden I was like this clicking around in the Dollar Tree and I'm like oh this is so exciting like you would think that I found a million dollars 
and I put it in the cart and I was like, oh, I hope nobody steals this out of my cart because sometimes I'm not paying attention and people just take things out of my cart. So I like covered it up with other things and I'm like walking through the aisles like, like I, I don't know, like I, I have like, like I literally just like robbed gold out of a bank and then I like was like, oh, that's so exciting. So I got two complete sets, but I only found one of these and then I came home and Googled it and it turns out, I mean, it's rare. It's actually rare. It's not crazy rare, but it's still really rare. And I was like, that is so exciting. I've never found anything. And I was like telling my son and my husband the story and they were like, you put it in the cart like people were going to steal it. How would anybody know what it was? I was like, it's gold. Like, can't you see how exciting it is? Like, look at that. That's so exciting. And then they were like, what are you going to do with it? I'm like, well, now that I have the rare one, I'm going to save them, obviously. And they were like, you're going to save them forever? And I'm like, yeah, of course I am. <laughs> and and then my husband was like, yeah, you know what? Honestly, you should save it for a few years because sometimes, and that's all I needed to hear because now I was like, oh, I have to find more of these. My husband was like, honestly, you should save it for a few years. Sometimes when they make things like this one with the no number in the series, like no number, that's very exciting. And only because I have like crazy OCD do I notice these things that I like they all look almost the same. Like I was like, oh, I don't have that one. Which number is that one? Because I was like, do, 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 do. I don't see that one. Dropped it on the floor. Ruined its value. Uh-oh. When you save them for a few years and they do make something collectible like that and you keep it in good condition, it becomes like really worth money. And I, he was like, you know, I was like, like what kind of money? And he was like, not like thousands of dollars, but the set could be worth like a hundred dollars a couple of years from now. And I was like, okay, that's worth saving something in like the top shelf of my closet for a couple of years because I paid seven bucks for this. If it's going to be worth a couple hundred dollars, I'm going to find another one of those no tag number cars. And he was like, there's probably one in like a million. I can't believe you found it. Honestly, it's very rare. It doesn't have a number and it's a special addition to this series. He's like, it is actually pretty rare. I mean, right now I Googled it. It's only worth like 12 bucks or something, but still it's like worth 12 bucks. I paid a dollar for it. So I don't know, but I felt like really excited that I found something like that at the Dollar Tree. I've heard of people finding things like these, but I've never witnessed it with my own eyeballs. And now I'm like, a little hooked I have to be honest then like I said it was a fresh box so I did pick up some for the kids I picked up a few of these sets because I was able to find a lot of the complete set and I think it's amazing so this is called the flying customs collection and it comes with there are there are eight in the collection and I found all eight but see in this one it doesn't have the little number out in the corner. It just happens to be that I found all eight that they show on the back of the card. So I think that that's cool, actually. And I think that a little boy will actually notice that um, if they're like seven or eight years old and they still like cars. It's the Hot Wheels Flying Customs Collection and I got all eight and I bought two sets of these because like I said, if you can give for $8 a little boy the whole set, a lot of times people donate. That's a nice, nice gift. So yeah, I'm gonna keep these and I'm gonna, like I said, Ziploc them when they're a set so they stay together and I'm gonna put those away because that is a nice holiday gift that you don't find every day. Those are the kind of little things that make me happy. I got um, a case of these. Trolls. They had a bunch at the store and I bought a whole case of them because I think that they're great to save for. I don't think I'm going to save these for Christmas. I think I'm going to give these away for um, Valentine's Day. They're pink and happy and Valentine-y. And they are miniature trolls blind bags. I don't know what's in here. It says, let's, gr let's glow trolls. Glow in the dark. Okay, so they're by Hasbro. One troll inside each pack. There's 24 in the box. And do they have a code? There's no, I don't know if there's a code for this. I can't really tell if there's a code. 
if there is a code, I'll put the code on here in case you guys are interested in collecting these. But I bought the whole case and I'm not going to give more than one away to a kid. Or I'm not going to try to give more than one away because there's only 24 in here. But there are three, six. That's what is available inside of this collection. There's no guarantee that you're getting the whole thing in this box. But I did get 24. And I think the kids are going to love these. And I'm so excited. For 24 bucks, kids love blind bags. 24 bucks well spent. I found this in a different Dollar Tree. And I guess because it's after Christmas, people are not even caring about toys at this point. They're piling up in the toy department. And this is where I start to clean up, you guys. You guys have no idea how many boxes and boxes and cases and cases of blind bag boxes I have from the Dollar Tree when I bring things to the shelter. Because I didn't start doing my videos until summer. But, like, right now, Dollar Tree gets tons of toys. People don't care. They're like, we're done with toys for now. We're buying food. We're buying underwear. We're buying things for ourselves. I'm going to buy myself a trip somewhere. I'm going to plan my summer vacation. But I'm still grinding at the Dollar Tree finding toys all year. So right now, you're going to see me buy lots of toys from here on in until people start looking again. And then it, I try to be nice. But there were like three cases of these and nobody was buying them. I bought a whole case. If I go back next week and it's still there, I'm going to buy the rest of them. Because Toy Story, little kids love Toy Story. But... I prefer to buy Toy Story blind bags because I don't have to give a kid the whole collection if I give them a blind bag. Buying a kid a blind bag is just fun. They love having a blind bag. It's just fun to open not knowing what's in there. So I did get this whole case and I actually got this in the Dollar Tree by my house. They had three cases. There were 36 in here. So that was, you know, 36 bucks. But stocking stuffers you put them out on the table just like this and you tell them you can take a couple you know they choose through like their mom will tell them take two of those take two of those take two of those when they're doing their stocking stuffing and it's such a pleasure i if your kids love toy story and you haven't seen these yet i'm gonna find out um if there is a this one does have a code for sure. I'm sure that I can find it and I'll put it up so you can screenshot it in case you find these and you want to specifically find. Because this one has like a look for me. There's a black and white woody collectible one. You know, if you find that, that's awesome. And uh, there are 36 in here. I think there are 12 in the set. This set is called Disney Pixar, Disney Pixar Minis Andy's Toy Chest Assortment. So this is Andy's Toy Chest Assortment. But um, that right there is the black and white version of Woody that's collectible. It's pretty hard to find it. And if you do find it, you have found the rare one. So that's exciting. You know, kids love that. You never know. You never know. Maybe each box has one. I don't know, but there is a code on that. I'll see if I can include it. I'm sure I can find it. And I did pick up a bunch of these because I do think these are fun for Valentine's Day. They're red. They kind of look like a heart or a giant diamond, but they're none of that. They are um, bubble goo, blow giant bubbles, play slime, play slime. So there's a straw and I guess you blow the slime into a giant bubble. They used to have something like a plastic container, but evidently you can blow this goo into bubbles, um, which I think has desperately been a need of them because I did get a table and four chairs. I got new, um, not new, I bought it on Facebook Marketplace for 50 bucks. So cute actually, very comfortable. And um, it's a little lower, so we're not sitting up high and uncomfortably can't see the TV from the sofa. But um, so I needed, I actually should have got two of these because you only get six of the big ones. And I like to put these under the chairs and the table. Um, Yeah, well, I guess I could try using the smaller ones. I really wish that I could find a pack that has just a ton of this size. Those are like the ideal size. And I, you only get six, but I'll get another pack been out for the longest time I'm actually getting to the end of this haul you guys wow 
And then there's nothing. I did pick them all up, and I'll tell you why. Now, you guys know that I pulled these shepherd hooks a while ago, and I had already gotten these, but I had not yet showed them to you. These you get one for a dollar, and I love the ones with the chain because I'll tell you what, they're a Greenbrier product. They're awesome, gorgeous. I love them. Last year, I got a ton of mason jars um, after Valentine's Day from Stop and Shop, a whole case for 75 cents, and they have hearts on them. They're so cute. Um, they look like, the, oh, they're right here. This is what they look like. I, I just put buttons in them because I'm DIYing them, but see, they have like a heart on them, the heart on the mason jar, and they're real mason jars, but I put this candle in here just for the hell of it. It's not like my DIY or anything like that, but now I have a ton of these mason jars, 12, and I got two cases of them. I use them as drinking glasses. We use them for like everything. Sometimes I make my own jelly, but, 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 but the Dollar Tree sells those gels, like those you know, those gems or whatever. The Dollar Tree sells those uh, in different colors. They come in red and blue. You can take the solar light that the Dollar Tree sells and take the stick off of it, throw it in the garbage, or use it in a rate, um, you know, shepherd hook for a dollar. You get this thing for a dollar. Everybody's got a mason jar. You get those solar lights, you throw the stick away, or you save it to do something else with it. You pop it in here. And if you want to put something down here, it's, I wouldn't leave the buttons in here because that wouldn't cast light, but those, um, clear like stones that the Dollar Tree sells that they come in red and green and blue. If you put them in here, they will cast beautiful, like mosaic like lights and the solar lights fit perfectly. When you put one of these caps on, they fit perfectly in there. Water doesn't get in there. Did you guys know that? You can even seal it with um, some caulking, clear caulking, that they no longer have at the Dollar Tree, but I do happen to have it, the silicone the silicone caulking, so nothing goes in for real because you don't want them to get filled with water and yucky. But then you put them as pavers, like um, way lights, in your grass and they really do stay up because these things go in the ground really deeply and honestly you can even push them further than even that i usually end up pushing them in really deep because i have like sand here so they go in fairly deep and then you have these beautiful lights hanging on here gorgeous gorgeous that is literally a couple dollar diy because you could get a lot of those I actually have tons of those rocks from different things that I've done. I don't have to buy them. I have bags and bags of those rocks from things that I've done, thrown away, changed them up, whatever. But you don't have to have those. You could put shells in them. You could do whatever you want. You don't have to put anything in them. You could just put the light in there and you probably already have this. So it'll be $3 because you need the solar light, you need the lid, and you need the hook. Three bucks. It's much nicer than any solar light you're going to buy at Walmart for $3. So I think that is a very nice DIY, simple, easy peasy, and beautiful. So of course, you know, I bought a ton of these because I love them. For a dollar, this is a great buy. Really, really nice. So nice. Nice for a wedding. Nice for anything. Buy these. Do not miss out on these. They're so cute. You can hang these on a hook in your house with the plant... You know the plant hanging hook or a pretty, but they do sell that hook in the Dollar Tree for a dollar. You can hang this in your house, put a light inside of it, and it'll come on at night, and it'll look really pretty inside of your house. The possibilities are endless with these things. They're good for parties. You can hang them in the trees if you don't want to get the shepherd hook. You can, I just love jars. I just love mason jars. I just love using things. You can actually use a mayonnaise jar. That's Marie's dressing jar. This lid fits it. So if you don't want to spend any money on a jar, you can find a jar that this will fit. And then it's a $1 DIY with a candle inside of it. Anything you want, you can do. But this is so upcycled for nothing. It makes something that's like worthless look good, doesn't it? I just, I am going crazy over these. I love them. Then they do have these in a two pack and these are good for air fresheners and potpourri. I like to put this lid on the, um, what are those things that I was going crazy? The Unstoppables by Downy. 
I put them in my closet. I already have two and I already did it. My closet smells amazing. So you guys want to do that. The Unstoppables by Downey are unbelievably potent. And it says, it says that it lasts for 12 weeks, but I believe it'll last longer. So I just dropped a, the whole box. I bought a few actually at this point because I became obsessed with them. I bought like four. So I put two boxes in two jars and I put them in my closet and my room smells amazing. I love these for air freshener. Drop it in your bathroom, put a box of unstoppable or get a big thing of them from Walmart, which I always order. Fill it, put it in your bathroom. These smell amazing. And this does, you know, it lets the scent come out. 50 cents for air freshener, pretty air fresheners. And then, and I think this is the last item in my haul. Nope, it's the second to last item in my haul. Um, I picked up these for doing floral arrangements and you get two for a dollar and I'm definitely going to give those a shot because I did buy a ton of those fake roses, the little mini ones, not the big ones. I'm not a fan, but I absolutely love the little mini roses and I think they'll look cute in a mason jar. It's like the quintessential classic look for mini roses. So for 50 cents, you can make two really cute floral arrangements and gift them. Give them to your mom, your grandma, your sister, your neighbor, whatever, but 50 cents and a jar. Just find a jar that it fits and don't even waste your dollar on a mason jar. I happen to have a dozen for 75 cents. I'm lucky that way, but you gotta hunt to find these things. Anyway, I love these lids. They have so many uses that the possibilities are truly endless. And then I did, I did buy three packs of these, but my light stand is on the other one. I found the 35 pack of, or the, yeah, 35 pack of the multicolor wrapping um, gift tissue. And I picked up three because like I said in my previous video, I am starting um, to sell a bunch of my things that are wintry on eBay because I do want to move and I don't need super winter stuff. In the hot weather of Florida, I just need maybe one pair of boots, one heavy sweater, couple of hoodies. I'm not keeping all my dreary winter New York clothing. I don't need it anymore. So I did buy a bunch of this tissue paper because I'm going to, of course, do things nicely, wash them, make them smell pretty. I want people to open my packages and be happy. I don't want people insulting my stuff. I'll get very upset. But um, I do happen to have very cute clothes and people that are going to buy my things are going to be very happy, I think. So anyway, um, yep. Yeah. So I'm excited about that. I got three packs. 90 sheets of paper plus for three bucks. That's a very good deal. It's actually, because I was looking, I do have eBay tissue paper that I did buy in the past, but it's pretty expensive. $3 worth of paper is great. I'm more than happy with that. If I sell 90 items, my closet might be empty. So that's everything I got in this haul. Let me look. It is, guys. That is everything. I am caught up. If I don't go shopping for a while, I can just say that I'm good. I'm I'm good, but I do have um, a, a Shein haul that I would like to share with you guys, and I have a lot of crafting to do tonight, so hopefully I will be able to do my Shein haul sometime tomorrow. It's just a few items and a really fun pair of shades, and uh, I'd like to share it with you guys, so um, again, thank you to Tina Grade and Rhonda Weber. Um, I hope it's okay that I said you guys' names on my channel. I hope you don't get upset, but I really love you guys, and I really appreciate you sending me those gifts. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone that watches this channel. Thank you to everyone who subscribed. Thank you to everyone that has liked a video. Thank you to everyone that has ever shared my video. Thank you to anyone that thinks happy thoughts towards me. I love you guys, and I really appreciate you. And as always, stay safe and stay savvy, guys. Bye-bye.